Howdy folks, I'm Max Stevens, and uh, I'm here today to show off and talk about my new fun object here. It's a 1936 Presto K8 recording lathe. And uh, this was state-of-the-art back in the 30s, has a little recording head here that pulls down, cuts onto acetate records, or in this case, PVC blanks. These are a lot cheaper, they're noisier, but it's a lot of fun, and I'm putting out things on my own Fredonia label of my own rockabilly music, and that of a few good friends who uh, don't mind having their stuff show up on lo-fi. I think it sounds better that way, in fact. So, uh, I've already pulled the uh, plastic film off this PVC blank, and I'm going to throw it on the turntable, thusly. And uh, it's already been drilled out. Sometimes they come drilled, sometimes not. I have to drill out that second hole so the uh, lathe will hold it in place. So I always start things off, like most good dates, with the bath. This is uh, Ronsonol, that marvelous lighter fluid that's kept Zippos going for eons. And I give that a bath in Ronsonol for just a little bit. And uh, we're going to let that set there. Probably about a minute, minute to two minutes maybe. Just let that soak in real well. I'm going to put this on pause. So I've let that soak in for a bit. Next I'm going to turn the machine on. I'm going to buff out that uh, Ronsonol. Squirt on some anti-static fluid. I'm going to run about a five minute cut here so I'm doing all of the surface. I can get about roughly six minutes of signal on this with this particular worm gear and the uh, needle that I've got. And like I said, it's at 78 RPM. I'm going to let that soak in for a few seconds, maybe a minute. And lastly, I'll hit it with the spritz of turtle wax and let that penetrate. Doing what I can to keep the static down. Make it cut smoothly without screeching. Keep the noise level down. Next, I pull the cutting head over, get it in position. And also, I make sure my uh, vacuum cleaner here, it's a shop vac, is plugged into the wall. Because when that records, the needle is going to pull up a thread of uh, PVC. And uh, when, whenever I clean out my shop vac, it looks like it's a wig in there. It's just a big old gray, black head of hair. Anyway, so once I get this started, I pull down the needle, and then it starts cutting, and then I will turn on the shop vac, put y'all on pause a bit while the song goes into the grooves. So I've got to set the, set the gear in motion, drops the head a bit, bring the head down all the way, and you probably can't see it, but the thread's going there, and I'm going to start the source material. Two great rockabilly songs. And I'll see you in about five and a half minutes. Okay, we've been going now for, oh, about a minute and a half into the record. I can see my needle deflecting right here. You probably can't very well. And I keep an eye on that so I don't have to wear the headphones. And if I make a 20 cut run of these, I end up hearing the same songs since I have to play them back each time as well. I could maybe hear them upwards of 40 or more times. This way I can watch the needle and see how it's doing. And I'm cutting these out of my computer from an MP3 or a Wave. So I can also watch that to tell me when it quits. See you in a moment. Okay, we're just about there at the end. We've got about five more seconds. Okay. Woo. So I pulled the needle, or the uh, stylus back, put the head back, disengage the warp drive, shut it off, And voila, we've got us a brand new cut 
78 RPM record. We're going to play it. Okay, so I've put the uh, record on my old workhorse turntable. It's an early 50s caliphone promenade. These were made for square dances. The square, the better, I guess. But they were early DJs, the square dance uh, DJs. That, that's what they were. This thing, it's all tube. It's got a couple of matching speakers. It's got two microphone inputs. So, I mean, these people were DJing long before DJ What's-His-Name ever came up on the scene. And this is an incredible heavy tone arm. Yeah, people say it'll ruin your discs. They sound the best played on this. I wouldn't pay, play a uh, $20,000 Sunhouse Paramount on this. No. I'll play this stuff I make all day long on it. This is Max Stevens, because that's my name, and is in the Groove Boys. This was cut down in Buenos Aires, Argentina this year, 2019, on a single microphone, little reel-to-reel -reel that I carried with me. On old, old tape, too. This is called The Best Rockin' Place. I like that one. Next song on there is called Hobo. I don't care for Jesus, long, and I like the uh, background hiss on these. Makes it sound like a real 50s record. That's got me on uh, vocal and rhythm guitar. Sammy Paez with his sarcastic guitar. Carlos Bratendaro on drums. And we've got the illustrious Jonas. He's on bass fiddle. Flipside's got a couple of wonderful old hymns on there called, Hey kid, I think your mama's hot. And don't let the preacher man hustle you. Yeah. Oh, okay, I forgot one little part of this. There we go. Next we inscribe the record. I gotta remember which side is which. So I take out my little 60s inscriber. That's side A. So I inscribe these with the record number and side A or side B. F-177A for Fredonia and F-177B. More or less, that's what it says. Next part's fun. Huh, you thought this was all done, didn't you? Anyway, I've got myself labels that I have pre-printed myself with a marvelous logo done by my buddy Mark Lee Allen. He's all right. I think he said never mention his name in public. Sorry about that, Mark. Anyway, I've got an industrial-sized hole punch that will reach the center. I deftly punch a center hole. A little off there. Who cares? And I've got the flip side here.
Hit that one almost dead center. So then what I do, I peel them off. In this case, I'll peel off side A. Oh no, I'll peel side B first. Getting my fingers to work sometimes is a minor miracle. So I take the record, I line up the center hole. And I apply one label. Do the same with the flip side. You know, back in the old days, about 1900 or so, they didn't realize you could put a song on each side. Isn't that something? One genius said, hey, why don't we put something on the flip side? Much like, hey kid, your mama's hot. So somewhere here I've got an ink pen that I've got to poke out the center holes with. Well, got to poke them things out so they'll play. And we've got a finished record. It'll go in its own uh, 78 sleeve. Much like this one here. And they'll stamp that with the Fredonia logo. And there you go. See? Best Rockin' Place Hobo. Max Stevens in the Groove Boys. Number 177A. That's at Fredonia Sono Acoustic Studios because that's where we are. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that little note I showed you that said like and subscribe. That's always a good thing to do. I'll see you next time. I'm going to be around. Bye.